Do you ever just drink coffee and your brain is going like <laughs> everywhere all over the place? Yeah, that's me right now. Okay, let's do this. Feels a little bit good to be back with a video where I look a little bit more like my normal self after Mason gave me that lovely vintage makeover where I just looked terrific. Hello friends and Merry Thrithma. Welcome back. I hope that all of y'all had a super duper happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving and you're elsewhere, I hope you had an awesome Thursday. Today we are celebrating Merry Thriftmas. It's technically Black Friday right now, but we are celebrating Merry Thriftmas where we thrift away this holiday season, although I've been thrifting away for the holiday season for like the past three months. <laughs> Today I have a big old holiday winter Christmas thrift haul for y'all where I'm gonna be showing you guys lots and lots of clothes and goodies that I have been thrifting. I have been going a little bit crazy with thrifting. As many of you know, thrifting is a dangerous thing, especially when you have the largest thrift store in Los Angeles, um, like right down the street from you, and you're constantly finding a lot of goodies for under $10 or for like mostly $1.20 like you guys are gonna see today. I'm working on narrowing things down, but for this video, we're going cray cray. Also, I already have a spring thrift haul planned and things for that, so. so there goes my planning for calming down with a thrifting. But anyway, I just can't help myself. I see a lot of cute things in the store and I'm just like, it's like going to an animal shelter and you wanna take all the dogs. That's how I feel about thrifting. I am juiced up on caffeine. Let's go. Let's get into the first batch of things, which is dresses. And the first item I'm actually wearing. Surprise, I do this in every video. So it is this green wrap around dress that I thrifted for seven dollars. It's forest green, which is starting to become one of my absolute favorite colors. I don't know if you guys have seen a pattern, but quite a few things that I've been thrifting these days are like this color. I'm just like being whoop, attracted to it. The modern dress, it's by a brand called Dan Ling. Um, I've never heard of it before, but I looked it up and actually some of the dresses go for kind of expensive on Poshmark, but I got this baby for $7. It was very inexpensive and it's very cute, although it is shorter and um, more casual. I just think that the color and the overall like classiness that we have going up here, the cut, it's very 1940s. So I think that this is definitely one of my new favorite holiday dresses right now. The sleeves, they go just a little bit above the elbow. So it's just a very nice kind of shirt looking dress. It's casual, but it's dressy. It wraps around. It is a little bit short for winter, but of course you can always wear it with some tights or pantyhose. So yeah, that's all that I have to say about the dress. It is modern, but of course the cut and the style works very well if you wanna go for a 1940s holiday Christmas tree looking gal or an elf. Anyways, moving on to the next item. I have this super awesome retro 80s does 40s kind of dress. It's this dress by a brand called Visions. The brand is Visions California. It's an 80s brand. You can find quite a few dresses of the same brand online. I actually found the same exact dress on the internet. I think they were selling it for like around 40 or $50, but I got this baby for only $8. It reminded me of a 40s cut dress. The pattern is like these kind of leaves. They're black stripes I don't know what they are one of the other things that I really liked about it was that it gave me like Hawaiian vibes for some reason um, I could totally see myself wearing this to like a luau or a Hawaiian party or something like that which I actually just did recently which I'm super glad I got to wear it for that I'm really liking like the tiki vibes like especially around the holiday times Hawaiian Christmas one of my favorite themes and I'm super loving just I'm just in love with Hawaii it's like one of my favorite places to be in the 40s vintage like pinup tropical style is something that I could see myself getting into a little bit more and I have been so I was super glad to get find this dress um it's 80s it's awesome 80s vintage and I like it a lot it wasn't that expensive and it fulfills all my tropical Hawaiian Christmas dreams my style is all over the place I have got this 60s plaid here we go with the plaids uh dress it has no tag but it looks very well made um i don't know what era it's from it's very 
thick, kind of like a 60s pinafore. Mm, I don't know if I would call it exactly a pinafore dress. Would you, would you call it that? I don't know. Definitely like one of those dresses that you would wear with perhaps with a turtleneck under. I can already see myself wearing it with a, my cream turtleneck top underneath for that very like 60s, like early 70s vibe or even like 90s. A lot of you guys know I love like hopping eras. So my fairy are 40s, 50s, 80s and 90s. So a very diverse dress and it's good quality. It's pretty thick. So it's very much for the winter. I don't know that I could pair wearing something like this in the summer, but yeah. Oh yeah. And I only got it for $1.20. Gotta love my good old St. Vincent de Paul. Most of these items are from there um, with a couple of stuff from American Way thrift store that is on Vintage Row in Burbank. Next, we have a dress that <laughs> the thrifting gods were looking down upon me that day when I found this dress. I found this one at American Way thrift store in Vintage Row. It is a vintage, true vintage, 1940s Bonk. midi dress that is absolutely, my goodness, friends, divine. It's got the little vintage tag right there. You can see it. This is my first ever true vintage midi dress that I've found from like the 1950s. I'm dating it 1950s because of the style, maybe like late 50s. And I even found ads for it, not for this exact dress, but for other dresses from the same brand online, which is pretty awesome. I found a very similar dress, except it's like a hot pink kind of coral color online for $165. And I got this baby for, you're never gonna guess, $11. It's in absolute great condition. Um, little fringies here and there, which is, you know, normal wear and tear. It fits like a dream, at least not in LA, not where I'm at. You don't come through things like this that easily. Like it's very, they're either really overpriced or like somebody snatches them right away, even when they're overpriced. So yeah, this was such a rare and lucky find. We have a lot, a lot of dresses to go through. I have a very retro 1980s dress. I could not help myself, but what can I say? It was only $1.20. I'm not sure why I need it. It almost looks like a wedding kind of dress, you know, like a civil court dress. I mean, it's something definitely that I would wear, but, ooh, you can't really see it. Okay, it's very bright, but I will model it for you guys. But it's this 1980s Liz Claiborne, maybe early 90s, I'm not sure. It's button up and it's again like 80s does 40s. I love 80s does 40s. Cause you know, like living in a place like LA where you don't have a lot of cheap vintage options. Yeah, it's hard. So 80s is a lot more common. And you can really still find some really great dresses for like a quarter or less of the price. I mean, it kind of gives me those white winter wonderland vibes if you wanted to wear it for winter, but it's also like a nice spring, maybe even Easter dress. It's got a little bit of shine to it, but it's not too much. So yeah. So the next dress is another dress that I just could not let go uh, because of the price. And of course the style was very, very cute. You see, that's the problem. That's the problem when you go to thrift stores and everything's really cheap. I found this black, gown looking dress that I just could not pass by because well it was only a dollar twenty it has no tag no name it was probably custom made for someone um, judging by just like the stitching and stuff although it is still really well made and it's all long it's black but it has this very like delicate dainty chiffon sleeves and then it also the shelling on the outside is all chiffon so it has this very nice like flow even though it's a straight dress it's not very like open or big um it's very flowy and very pretty it has this detail here which is like a patch for decorative purposes made out of um shakira or beads first i was kind of unsure but i kind of like it now it's coming off though so i need to stitch it on i was just curious about it and when i tried it on i love the fit and mason was actually with me and he was like yeah you should definitely take that that's really pretty i don't know that i have anywhere to wear it this year but i do like a lot of videos and stuff and i feel like it could hypothetically work for a um kind of new year's look something very elegant it just gives me very dressy 1940s like ball gown vibe. I don't have a lot of dresses like this, mostly because I don't need them. But if I do, now I have one. And because it was so cheap, you know, a buck something, I don't feel like a lot of guilt of having it. I have space for it. It's very pretty. And yeah, for the very last dress, I am so excited 
to show you guys. As you guys know, we are entering the 20s once again. It's gonna be 2020 and all of us vintage gals, I wanna say like most of the girls that I know are planning a 1920s New Year's look. And of course, I'm one of those as well. I've been looking for a really long time, like the entire year at the thrift store because I refuse to overpay for a 1920s kind of flapper dress. I mean, if I'm thrifting all the time, I was like, I know I will find one. Except the problem is that these dresses are always overpriced at the thrift store too. So a lot of the dresses that are like flapper looking and that have all the beads and Shakira and all that stuff on them are for like 40, 50, 60 dollars. So I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I had a few that I had seen. I was waiting for them to come like lower in price, but then they would be gone by the time I would go look for them again. But finally I got lucky and I found this baby. And if this does not speak flapper, art deco, 1920s, I don't know what does. I mean, it's not exactly a 1920s dress. It's not gonna be perfect and exact, but it's definitely very, very inspired with the gold and glitz. I got this one at St. Vincent de Paul's. The original tag was for $40, so, so, so expensive. And I got this one for $1.20. I was freaking ecstatic. I was not expecting. I had seen it for a while and I was like, oh, it's cheaper. Sometimes they put them for like 60. I'm like, maybe I'll even get it for like half off, 20 bucks. And I went that day, it was the first day of the new color tag that went on sale, yellow tag. And it was just hanging there, just hanging there. And I could not believe it. I got it and I think I was almost shaking. I'm like, oh my God, it's the perfect dress. Super art deco, very, very bam in your face, glitz and glam. Feels, you know, like a Jay Gatsby party kind of dress. And you guys bet we have a look coming with this one. The thrifting gods, once again, were looking over me. That is all that we have for dresses. Moving on to shirts. I only have a couple of shirts or top of the body items. First is this shirt that is 70s or Edwardian looking. Very, very old lady vibes, but gotta love them old lady vibes. I really like this one because again, you know, it looks Edwardian, but can also do like some 40s outfits. It's very versatile. It's button up, it's simple. It's by a brand called EJ Marcel's. I'm not sure if that matters. I don't know who they are. I looked them up and I couldn't find anything. I don't know that it's like true vintage. The tag kind of looks like it could be, but I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not gonna try to date it. Next item is another, here we go with the plaid again. We're entering plaid zone, warning, and we might not go back for a while. Another plaid item, it's plaid flannel. It is this vest. This is gonna be perfect for winter time. So fulfills my 1940s schoolgirl needs. It was pretty inexpensive. I think I got it for like two or three dollars, something like that. Very good quality, no tag or anything. I kind of feel like my grandpa when I wear it, which makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Bam! And next we have skirts. And again, the plaid attacks. I'm not gonna go into super big detail into each one of these. They're all just plaid, long pleated skirts, or a couple of them are pleated, one is not. One is red. This one I found for $4 at St. Vincent de Paul's, no tag. I tried this one on and I was like, is it too school girl? But then the old lady next to me was like, no honey, you look great in it, you need to take it home. And so if like an old lady approved of it and told me I'd look good in it, I was like, yeah, I'm taking this. And then I also got this gray, Skirt. It's just a straight kind of A-line um, skirt, but yeah, it's by a brand called NYC. Again, very, very Christmassy. And this one was, I believe, $4 or so. And then the next one is this authentic Morgan Tartan Pendleton skirt. I think this is more like maybe 80s uh, tag for when it comes to the Pendleton. It is blue and black. And again, very holiday-ish. This one is a lot thicker than the other two, so it's great for those very rare days when it gets really, really cold in LA. Or also we go to Big Bear a lot, so I can probably wear this to Big Bear, maybe even Mammoth where it actually like snows and gets really cold. Finally getting into the very last clothing item before I get into a few little accessories and knickknacks. It's a mauve long trench coat that I found at St. Vincent de Paul's for $9. Something about like the mutative mauve just spoke to me clothes at the stores just speak to me. Take me, take me home, you want us. Uh, anyways, I found this coat. It has a metal zipper on the inside and then the 
uh, buttons on the outside and it has no tag so I don't know when it's from but it does have inside the ladies garment workers union tag and this one's the tag that they were doing from like the 70s through I think the early 90s so I know that it's somewhere from like 70s 80s vintage um, I don't think it's 90s like, it, one of the other reasons that I really liked it and why I took it home was because it made me feel like it's something they would wear in stranger things which I'm totally obsessed with I'm so obsessed that I even dressed like Dustin once and made my brother dress as 11 it's true. There's a video on here if you want to see. So yeah, it was very like retro. It just gave me like these like early kind of 80s vibes. So yeah, that's all that I have for clothing materials like five hours later. Moving on to the last of the items, I have accessories. And the very first that I have to show you guys are these pair of gloves. So I don't have a lot of gloves for like vintage fashion to wear. And I've been trying to like keep an eye out more for these. And I found these, I found these long white dressy looking, I would say they're pretty fancy looking gloves. I feel super lucky to have found these gloves. They're from a brand, so it has the tag inside called Wear Right. Um, and it is actually a vintage brand, a vintage gloves brand. They sell a ton of these online, but they retail for a lot more expensive. I found these for $3, um, but you can find them online for like 50, even more, 25 or so. And they're 100% cotton, made in Western Germany. They fit perfectly like a glove. And then on them, they have these like little stitches of flowers. And then in the middle of the flower, it has these little crystals or studs on them. And it has all the studs, all the crystals. None of them have fallen off. It's in great condition. I feel very, very glam, like a queen. What is it? Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. I learned that in Princess Diaries, I think. The next thing I have is a hat. It is this hat. I feel like I have not been wearing it enough, but also I'm kind of like scared to wear it a lot. I would say 9. 30s 40s looking hat it's brown with like an orangey pattern going around it and some purple flowers another flower stitched on here it has the metal wire around it to help keep its shape I found this hat for you guessed it a dollar 20 I was kind of a little bit shocked because I walked up to it and I did not expect it to be on sale but it was there waiting for me. I'm not exactly great at dating and this one's a little bit harder because there's no like brand or anything on the inside, but just judging by the quality, the stitching, I've even, I even sent a few pics to some of my gals in my vintage group. Um, and we're thinking that it could potentially be true vintage, maybe like true thirties, forties. And you guys actually probably already saw this one. I wore it in one of my outfits for my autumn vintage lookbook. Yeah, that's what it was. I feel like it makes me look like an explorer woman and I'm off to just venture off into the jungle or something. Next item are shoes and I have one pair to show you guys and it is these Mary Janes. Very 1920s feeling, maybe even like 40s, 30s as well. Brand spanking new when I found them. I found them at a thrift store. I don't even know what city it was. And they're by a brand called uh, Etine. Et et a teen Iger, I think is how you pronounce it. I think it's a high fashion brand because I looked them up and their shoes are expensive. They're like 150 to 250 to even like $300 shoes. But yeah, that's not what these cost me. These cost me only $7 brand new. Good quality, loving them for 1920s outfits. I have been looking for some thicker Explorer woman belts. I've mentioned it in my Adventureland Disney bound video that I've been looking for some and ever since I found a few. The very first one is this super thick with a triple C uh, 80s belt. It's by a brand called Avignon, Avignon, and it's an 80s brand. This one was only $1.20. It's genuine leather, it's very thick, so, but I tend to like thicker belts instead of like really small thin ones. I just like the way it holds everything in, you know? And then I found this second one, which is modern as a stretchy band but that's okay because it still looks really cute and it was only also a dollar um a dollar something and it has the two buckles which you tie it at and yeah very adventure landy this is the belt that i wish i had when i did my adventure land slash jungle cruise disney bound but i mean i can always do it again okay we're getting there near the end for the last of accessories i have this bag. It is a beaded clutch purse, black and then white and clear beads on the outside. It's by a brand called uh, Lu 
called Lumerd or Lumerd. It is a vintage uh, brand. And yeah, I finally have a more decent clutch, vintage looking clutch. And it only cost me $5. And when I got it, um, I purchased it at first. I saw that it had another compartment on the inside. So I was like, oh, like interesting, two compartments. And when I got home and I was inspecting it a little bit more, I realized that there was actually another purse on the inside, which was pretty rad. So whoever donated this actually donated two purses and put another one on the inside. And I guess the people didn't notice and just sold it as one. So uh, I actually got each, I guess, for 250 if you want to see it that way. All beaded with like Shakira, very, very detailed. It has like the beaded flowers on it. And it's by another brand called Gem. Uh, and this one also is vintage. You can find it online as well on Etsy and whatnot. I got lucky and I guess I got two vintage bags for one. And then recently, to go with my 1920s looks that I have planned right now, I got this other little bag, this little clutch. Ooh modern it's by a brand called chico's but again looks very very 1920s with all the details and beads that it has going on it was originally the thrift store was selling it, it still has a tag the thrift store was selling it for 16.99 but i got it the day it was on sale for a dollar 20 total steal and will work very well for some 1920s inspired looking outfits Whew. That was a lot. I've been having way too much fun at the thrift stores lately. So working on reeling that in, um, I'll have some more hauls coming, but I don't think there'll be this big of an explosion. But you know, I'm not spending crazy amounts of money on these things. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that, Vicky. Merry, merry thriftmas and good luck thrifting. If you can, make it to some thrift stores instead of, you know, going to retailers. A lot, a lot of clothes in this world that needs a good home, so. Support your local thrift stores as well. If you can thrift, I'm mostly, that's like mostly what I do these days. Once in a while, I'll like splurge on something that's like repo. But you know, as you can see, there's no shortage of things at the thrift store, even in LA where it's super competitive. So yeah, happy holidays, Merry Thriftmas. Stay safe from crazy shoppers. I'll see you guys very soon with another video. And as always, sending you all a super duper big virtual hug wherever it is that you are in the world.